Hey everybody, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you a plaid tumbler. Um, all of the materials that I will be using are right here below and I will go over them. Before I do start this tutorial, I do wanna thank everybody for watching and supporting me on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I have officially reached 1,000 subscribers. Yes, I have reached my goal. Um, I did tell y'all whenever I do reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving away five free tumblers. So on my next video, uh, I will be uh, announcing how to enter to my to get my my five free tumblers. So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure your notifications are on for uh, my next videos. And let's go ahead and jump into this tumbler. All right, so I have my stainless steel double wall tumbler. I am using a 16 ounce today. I did spray paint this with Rust-Oleum Rustic Orange. And this is complete preference. You don't have to spray paint it orange or whichever color you're working with. Um, I just do, if I do have it, if I don't, I just spray paint it white. And I have seen people just uh, do it on a stainless steel tumbler without any spray paint. I will be using this paintbrush today. If you don't have this paintbrush, I got this in a set at Walmart. You can also use a Mod Podge, or this is a Mod Podge, a sponge brush, a smaller one. If you don't have these smaller ones, you can also cut a, um, a bigger one in half to have a smaller brush. I am using um, blue tape to tape off my plaid design. You can also use electrical tape, so whichever one you have on hand or whichever one you like to use. Mod Podge to apply the glitter, some Dixie Cups to hold my glitter, some clear, uh, crystal clear acrylic coating by Krylon. This is to seal the glitter whenever I'm finished. This is very, very important, guys. If you guys do not have this, run out to the store and get it ordered off Amazon. Make sure you have um, a, a sealer or a clear spray paint. This is the only one that I use personally. This is the only one I recommend and I swear by this one. I love this one so much. And then you're gonna obviously have your glitter. So today I am using Glitter Heart Company Charcoal. This is by Glitter Heart Company. You can get it from glitterheartco.com. I'm sorry, it's getting washed out here. And then I am using Recollections Pumpkin. So these are the two colors that I'm using. The great thing about these ombres, or excuse me, the great thing about these plaid tumblers is, any tumbler, is you can use any color that you like. Um, and then I have my Mod Podge tray that I got from uh, Joann's. Uh, you can use paper or anything. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so the boring part here. <laughs> um, we need to tape off the tumbler. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tape, whichever tape you decide to use, and you're gonna take a big piece and anywhere on the tumbler that you like. I am not marking this off or anything. Or, or anything um, I'm just placing this on the middle of the tumbler and then I'm placing it down so just like this and then you're gonna take this tumbler and you're just gonna take the tape and you're just gonna eyeball it you're just gonna eyeball the tape straight the tape straight <laughs> all right so that looks kind of straight <laughs> um, this is all eyeballing so you can you can take your time more with this, and then sometimes I peel this up like four times. Every time I tape off tumblers, I take forever. All right, so this is looking pretty straight. So this is kind of your guideline right here. So this is how your tumbler should look. The bottom, I just, uh, whenever I'm finished, I cut off all the bottom and I leave it alone. I don't make a special design on the bottom. And then make sure this is pressed down on the tumbler. You're gonna take another long piece of tape and then you're gonna do the same thing right across. So you're gonna make a lowercase t. So you're just going to go right across and make sure you have a long enough piece of tape to, uh, to go across the entire tumbler. And then you're gonna make that straight as well. And since these tumblers are, I think that was the wrong piece of tape. Since these tumblers are kind of narrow at the bottom, it's going to be a little bit more narrow at the bottom and it is okay. Um, there's a lot of things that you think you mess up on, on these tumblers and really people who purchase them, they don't see any flaws in them. And I know that we're all artists and we all create things and we're all picky in particular with our designs, but I'm telling you, it looks better than what you think. I promise. So do not give up if you think it looks like poo poo. 
it probably doesn't look like poopoo. Okay, so this is probably the hardest part. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to this part and make sure this is, um, this is on straight. All right, so I have the tumbler um, taped off. I'm going to cut off these. I just cut the center. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just cutting the center of the tape. And then I'm just peeling, sorry. I'm just peeling um, the bottom of the tape or the end of the tape into the tumbler. Um, I don't want to peel, um, I don't want to push it down too hard. I want to leave a little bit up because whenever I'm done, you're going to have to, or I'm going to have to uh, unpeel this tape. So don't make it too hard for you to unpeel that. Um, you don't want the little things to be the most difficult things on the cup. So with this, I also do the same. I'm just, un, or I'm just trying to cut it. And then I just push these down just a little bit because they're going to go down anyways whenever you, uh, whenever you push, put the tumbler on, on its right side up. There you go. So now we're going to do the horizontal lines. And the way I do this is I take a piece of tape. I really hope you guys can see all this. I take a piece of tape and then I place a piece of tape right on the edge of the tumbler right there. And then I flip it on its other side. I take another piece of tape, just one piece. There we go. I take another piece of tape and then I place it on the, the very bottom of the tumbler as well. So this is going to be a guideline of where to place your long piece of tape. So I'm really trying to get this camera right for y'all. So then I'm going to not have my tumbler move so much. So now I'm going to place the piece of tape that I wanna lay around the tumbler right above that. And that's gonna give me a guideline to um, where to place that tape to make it straight. I'm trying to get this on the camera for y'all. Here we go. So then I'm placing that right there and it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so it's okay if it's not perfect. Then I'm gonna take this piece of tape that I had in my guideline and I'm just gonna put it to the side. It's okay if some of your, um, your tumbler peels up your uh, spray paint. So I'm gonna put this to the side and then there's my, there's my line and I'm just gonna line it up just as best as I can. If it's not a perfect line, it's okay. Um, I hope your customers and I hope your loved ones who you make these for know that these tumblers are homemade and they aren't made by robots. So they don't have to be perfect, but I know that we are kind of anal sometimes and we need them perfect. So I have this little piece of tape sticking up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that piece off. So there was a little bit of overlap on the tape and I went ahead and just cut it off with a razor blade. Then I'm gonna do the same step for the next square. So I'm just gonna lay my guideline tape down on one side. So I laid it down there and then I'm gonna lay my guideline tape down on the other side. And then I'm gonna take my blue, my, my blue tape and then I'm just gonna place it right above and that's just gonna give me my guideline. And then whenever I have this placed down, I'm gonna peel this up. And then I'm gonna do the same for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this part. So my tape is now taped off. Make sure your tape is pushed down all the way. I know some people like to start and finish their tape at the same spot. Um, I don't really have problems with finding my tape, so it doesn't concern me, but that is a helpful tool. Um, if you don't remember where you place the end of your tape, just start it in the same spot. So if you have this one, both of these will be started in the same spot as well. So next, uh, the next step is going to be applying your glitter. You're gonna have three glitter colors. You're gonna have your first one, your second one, and then you're gonna have a mix of both. So I'm using black and orange, and uh, since 
I'm using a darker color and a lighter color. Whenever I do mix the two together, I'm gonna mix more orange than more black because I don't want the black to overpower the orange. So now we're going to apply the glitter onto the tumbler. So you're gonna separate the two glitters. I'm separating my black and then the orange. And I'm going to apply the orange first. I like applying the lighter color first and then the darker color after. Um, I don't know why, but that's just how I do it. And so I have my orange in a cup just to make, uh, just to make it easier for me to, um, to pour on the tumbler. So everywhere that you see blank with no tape is where you're gonna apply the orange. And I'm using this paintbrush again. I got it from Walmart. I got a pack of paintbrushes from Walmart. Uh, the size is a one inch. So this is a one inch paintbrush. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Mod Podge and I do one square glitter, one square glitter. It might take longer, but that just in ensures me uh, that my Mod Podge isn't going to dry because a lot of people who work with Mod Podge, I'm sure a lot of people who are viewing work with Mod Podge know that it does dry, dry fast. Like I said, you're just going to, you don't want a thick uh, Mod Podge, but you're just going to coat every single square. And then you're going to move on to the next step. So I'm going to fast forward this part. This is my favorite part because it's the easiest part. The hardest part is the taping, in my opinion. It is a pain in the butt sometimes, but. So there's my, uh, there's my orange squares and then I'm gonna fast forward the rest for y'all. This is my tumbler. All the spaces are completely covered in orange. I did Mod Podge a lot of squares and then I end up doing the glitter because I do want these tutorials to be as quick as possible um, for y'all. Some advice for placing the glitter on after Mod Podging, there's two things. Uh, one, you don't need a lot of Mod Podge. So um, if you saw me wiping my brush off a lot, you do not need a lot of Mod Podge for this. A uh, second thing is um, make sure you're getting these little corners of the squares. It's very important. You don't want a rounded, a rounded edge. The good thing about this is I did spray paint this orange. So if I did miss some corners, you're not going to see it. Uh, you're not going to see the rounded. Um, but if you are very picky in particular, make sure you are getting the corners. Um, you don't want a rounded um, square. I'm now going to take my tape off. I'm gonna be taking my horizontal tape off. So this one, this one, and this one, the one that's going left to right. Obviously because it was my last tape that I placed down. So I'm just gonna take it off and you wanna peel very, very slowly. Um, and you wanna make sure you do this whenever the Mod Podge is, is still wet. So you wanna peel this off while the Mod Podge is still wet. That is very, very important. If you do not peel this off while the Mod Podge is still wet, you're gonna rip up your glitter. So this is the same thing as, um, just like if you're painting your house, you're gonna uh, put the baseboards, you're gonna tape the baseboards off, and then you are going to peel it off while the paint is still wet. At least that's what I do. Um, so make sure you peel off very slowly. I pull, instead of going this way I kind of pull if you could tell at it like an angle so I think it helps get the tape off without kind of um, pulling a lot of things off okay and then one more it's gotta find it right there oh, I stuck that one on good so you can leave that up like this to help you whenever you're pulling it up, but I always forget to do that. And then I'm like, oh, I should have left it up so I can find it, but it's okay. Okay, so slowly, 
here it is. You're gonna leave the tape that's going up and down. You're gonna leave that on the tumbler. So I had a lot of excess glitter come off that. So I'm gonna go and pour this inside of my glitter cup, my orange glitter cup. So this is the, the freehand part. This is the freehand part. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to mix my two glitters and then all of these spots that are naked uh, with no glitter, the orange spots that are naked, um, that's the spots that are going to be covered with my mixed glitter. So a good way to think about this is, let me show you the one that I just did. So um, if you see, this is solid black, solid red. Um, every single left to right and up and down solid color is a mixed color. So if you look at this black right here, up and down is a mixed color, left and right is a, is a mixed color. If you look at this red, right here left and right of this red is the mixed color up and down of the red is a mixed color so every single solid color that you see the top bottom left and right should be mixed so that helps me tremendously so if you are getting confused um, about the design stop and think so if you let's say um, you put black here on accident you're like oh wait am I supposed to do that so if you put black here left and right top and bottom left and right should be mixed so you know that's wrong so you still have time to take that black off so this is going to be a mixed color so this is a solid color left to right or sorry up and down should be mixed left to right should be mixed so every solid color I know I'm repeating myself but I'm just trying to say it um, in different ways for y'all a solid color is the orange L top to bottom should be mixed and the left to right should be mixed and you'll see this whenever I take off the blue tape I am now going to mix my colors. Um, I mix a little bit at a time, but remember you want to cover this whole tumbler. So um, make sure your mix is enough for the entire tumbler. So if you are doing a bigger tumbler, you're gonna need more glitter. Um, you don't wanna have to remix and then have two different shades of um, glitter. So I'm going to use this pen to stir it. I would use a popsicle stick. So like I said in the beginning of the video, um, you are going to need more orange or more lighter color than the darker color so you don't want them to blend you don't want the darker to blend with the lighter so I'm gonna add more because I think I'm gonna need more glitter and this is awesome because um, if you have a lot left over it's okay because if you post this or if you share this with somebody I'm sure you're gonna get another order so you can make plenty of these and this is Halloween color so even if I don't end up making another plaid tumbler um, I'll definitely be using this. So I think I have a good mixture. And if I don't, then I guess we'll see. I try not to overthink these tumblers. I used to when I first started, but now I don't because I noticed that some of the little mistakes that I make, a lot of people don't notice. And I think I said that in the beginning. So again, every single square that you see that does not have any orange glitter needs to be filled in with the mixed glitter. So this is super easy. So if you see a naked, a naked spot with no glitter, fill it with glitter. So now I'm gonna take my Mod Podge, my one inch brush, and I'm gonna add some Mod Podge to it just a little bit. You don't want that much Mod Podge. So make sure you really tap off the end. And then I'm going to, this is whenever you freehand. So let me get close for y'all without messing it up completely. But I'm going to place it down and then push up. So this kind of helps you with a square. And if you get lucky, sometimes, I think I actually did get lucky, sometimes the square is one inch. So you can do it on either way, whichever way is com comfortable for you. And just make sure you get those, uh, those little ends there, like I told y'all in the beginning. Now this is gonna be a darker color in the orange, so, um, so do keep in mind that if you do get Mod Podge over over the, the light orange area, that darker color is gonna sit on top of that orange. So just make sure you are filling in um, that square. And then you just dump the glitter, the glitter mix onto the tumbler. And if you see there, I missed a little piece in the corner. So make sure that corner is covered. I don't know why that corner just aggravates me if it's not covered. 
So I'm gonna do this on every single part. And you see it's a little bit darker, but it's not as dark as black. And me painting the cup orange really does help in my opinion. Um, but if you don't have it, then it's okay. You can always just do it white. So again, I'm going to take this and I'm going to just barely line it to the, the silver, or not the silver, excuse me, to the glitter and just push up a little bit. I'm trying to get this on camera and still be able to give y'all a good tumbler. So make sure you're getting the cracks or the corners. And you can do that on this side as well. So you're just kind of pushing towards the glitter and then you're pushing up. Really, the strokes doesn't really matter as much as like this. if you see, if you do a thin coat, if the coat is so thin, you won't be able to see the strokes um, behind the, the glitter. So as long as this is thin, you can go ahead and do this inside the whole entire, if you're not that comfortable inside the whole entire square, just go ahead and do this, like the airborne shuffle with the paintbrush, and go ahead and do that, and um, it will be perfectly fine. Because you're not gonna be able to see the strokes if you do a very, very thin coat. So I'm gonna do this one more time before I fast forward this for you. So again, I'm gonna dip my paintbrush inside the Mod Podge. I'm going to let the excess off and then for this square, that's probably too much. I'm just gonna push it against, push it against the glitter. Oops, and then kind of fan it down. So just fan it down. And then we're gonna do the same for this side since this is a bigger square on this side. We're just kinda, just make sure this is fully covered and make sure it's a very thin coat of Mod Podge. That way you won't be able to see your strokes, your brush strokes on here. Sorry if that was not in the camera. I hope out of the three squares, one of them was in the camera for y'all. And then we're just gonna dump the mixture on. And then dump it onto the plate or the paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for the entire tumbler and then uh, I will be back. Okay, so the, the, the tumbler is completely covered with the mixed and the orange. I did do the rest off camera. I'm sorry that, I, that I'm not putting all of this on camera only because I'm trying to make this tutorial as uh, short as possible. I don't like putting any steps off camera. So now we're going to peel up the horizontal tape. And again, you wanna do this while the Mod Podge is wet. So I hope you guys aren't coming back to this tumbler. Um, at like in 45 minutes or so. So make sure if you are doing this tumbler, you are doing this uh, all in one, one sitting. And then we are going to peel this off right here, throw away that tape. I love peeling off tape like that. It is oddly satisfying. Remember what I said in the beginning, make it easier for you to peel off the tape. And of course I end up sticking it down. So you're just gonna slowly peel off the tape so all of your tape should be off of your tumbler now. After you do this step, all of your tape should be off your tumbler. And if you ask what I do to the bottom, I take my mixed color and I just place it on the bottom. I personally like it that way. My logo is gonna go on the bottom of the cup anyway. So um, again, it does not have to be perfect. Okay, so you slowly peel up. I'm gonna keep this step on the video because I know this is satisfying to a lot of viewers, <laughs> including myself. One more guys, one more. Right. Um, it is very hard to shoot this video, very, very hard. So my apologies. Very, very slowly. So now I wonder why everyone's complaining about there's not a good plaid tumbler video and this is probably not the best one either, but now I know. It's hard to do these plaid tumblers and it's even harder to do them and get them on video. So here we go, guys. So this is what it's gonna look like. So far, this is the hard part, the harder part. I, this tumbler is very challenging. This is the part that I've told y'all that you guys have to remember. Uh, remember that whenever you see a solid color, 
the top and the bottom and the left and the right should have the mixed color on there. So if you see a solid orange, make sure the top and the bottom, the left and the right is solid. For example, my tumbler that I just did, I have a black solid color, the left and the right, the top and the bottom, all mixed color. So that is very, very important because this is all free-handed right here. So this might look intimidating. It kind of is on your first go around, but we will get through it together and I'm sure your cup is gonna be beautiful. Do not give up if you mess this up on your first try. It is okay. So this is the reason why I like this one inch brush over the uh, sponge brush over this one because it does have a finer tip. I usually use this to apply all of my Mod Podge, but I do like this one for this tumbler. So I'm just gonna start at the bottom. So if you see a solid color, the left and the right of the solid color should be the mix. So I, this is my solid color. The left and the right should be the mix. So we're gonna put the mix on here. And if you see, whenever I did my brush stroke, I did it very, very carefully. And this straight line on the brush helps tremendously. So I do recommend this for this tumbler, this one inch head. I don't know if it's called a head, but this one inch brush. So I did do, um, I did do the, the solid or the mixed color. So if you wanna just work on one glitter and I'm just going to take the very tip of my brush with a little amount of epoxy or a little amount of Mod Podge. Let me try to get this on camera and I just go from the very top. I push down and make that line and then I just, just fill it in the imaginary line. And it's that simple. And if you want to clean it up, um, you can in a bit. So there it is. All right. And then, so again, I am seeing a solid color. So I need a left and right, um, left and right mixed color. This is so hard guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this on camera. I hope you guys can see this. So your lines don't have to be perfect, but uh, you all know anybody who does tumblers, they want their cup to be the most perfectest. Yes, I said perfectest. So there we go. You just make that imaginary square. Now it's not imaginary anymore, it's a square. If it's a little off, it's okay guys, it's okay. It might drive me crazy a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> so there you go. Once the squares are all there, you're going to, um, you're just gonna fill it in with the other color. So again, solid color. Up and down is the mix. My left and right needs my, my mix. This is the best advice I can give y'all. This was what got me through my first one. And the cool thing about this is there's so many things that are going on with this tumbler. If you don't make your square perfect, it's not gonna be that noticeable. Don't freak out. I always think of Harry Potter whenever I see these plaid tumblers, no matter what color. All right, so solid color, left and right is the mix. Oops, you're gonna have to Mod Podge first. And then I'm just lightly brushing on my tumbler and making that line as straight as possible. But if it's not, then I'm sure it's gonna look great. Don't give up guys, this is a very hard tumbler. So if you do mess this up on the first try, it's okay. Now remember what I was telling you about getting those corners? Those corners are a big deal for me. And if you see, so I'm gonna have to clean this up whenever I'm, I'm off camera, um, just so I don't waste y'all's time. But if you see right here, I put Mod Podge over too, too much. So wherever you put Mod Podge, it's gonna stick. So right here, you can see that's a little bit too big of a square. So be careful with that. So I'm gonna finish this up. Again, every time you see a solid orange, a solid color, left and right, top to bottom, is where you want the mix. I finished that section off camera. 
there it is so now all the naked parts with no glitter all the squares with no glitter it's all going to be black so make sure to know you're doing this right make sure if if this was black the top bottom the left right is going to be the mixed color so make sure that you are um you are doing your design right um it will still look fine if you mess it up a little bit but no it's not going to be plaid and it's going to look a little off but it's still going to be beautiful and as long as you get your technique down then you're fine so now i'm just going to fill in the little spaces and since i did my um my darkest color last if there's anything that i need to like cover up i can cover it up with my dark color that's why i like doing my dark color last i knew there was a reason all right so you just kind of blot at least i kind of blot in the square and then i add the black or the darker second color or i should say third color and then you really beat it off and there it is so i'm going to fill in all of it let me get close to the camera again so i'm just going to to kind of outline you can take the the end of your brush and you can do this as slowly as you like and you can even do it this way and just kind of smear um paint or mod podge onto the square because this is the the easier part guys so you can even use a smaller paintbrush for this so if you don't want to use this uh inch paintbrush head you can use half an inch just make sure you get in those corners because those corners are very very important at least to me they are really shows that square and i did miss some corners there so just know that i'm going to be i'll be touching them up off camera so let's say you did your mix and you did it too dark or too light that is okay because once once this mod podge dries see i have to fix that because i'm doing it while i'm I'm showing it to y'all, so it's a little harder. I'm trying to get this, and it's off camera anyways. There we go. So let's say you did your mix too dark or too light. Once this dries, all you have to do is remix a batch and then put it on top of there again. So you wait till this dries. Then you, um, you make another batch, whether you want it darker or lighter. And then you just add Mod Podge over the squares. And then you just reapply it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this tumbler and then we will be back. So I did get a smaller head. I don't know if they're called heads, but I did get a smaller brush. And this is a 3 eighths. So I think this came in the same package. If not, I know you guys know where to buy a package of tumblers or brushes. So I'm using a 3 eighths. So I just wanted to show y'all, this is actually a lot easier so i would recommend maybe getting the the fun pack of uh the fun pack of brushes and kind of experiment on yourself obviously the smaller the cups the smaller the squares the smaller the brushes the bigger the cups the bigger the squares the bigger the brushes but i kind of like this three eighths um and, if, and it does have that little angle to it so if you guys see the angle of this brush i like that because that makes me it helps me get inside of these squares so I just want to show you all that it gets inside the cracks the edges of the of the squares the angles there you go <laughs> sorry guys so I'm gonna finish this and then we will move on to the next step All right, I'm finished laying all of my glitter and this is not a perfect tumbler, but I hope this video did help with, um, with how the concept worked. The most important part is what I keep stressing, what I keep repeating is if you see a solid color, the top, the bottom, the left and right should be the mix. So keep that in mind whenever you are freehanding that those squares, solid color, left, right, top, bottom, it's mixed, solid color, all around is mixed 
So after this is finished, you can let this dry for an hour and then you can reapply your uh, Mod Podge and clean up the squares if you like. Um, if you are satisfied with your tumbler, um, I go ahead and I hit it with my crystal clear uh, acrylic coating. I do spray this three times like any other ombre, um, multicolor, um, any other glitter tumbler. I always, always, always spray this with crystal, crystal clear, uh, clear cast. So um, like this other one I sprayed, I am pushing down on this. You can hear I'm pushing down. It is not coming up. So this stuff works wonders. So whenever you epoxy this, none of this is going to move. I sprayed this about an hour ago and that needs to be epoxied. So this will be sprayed three times and then you'll go ahead and you'll epoxy it, place a decal on it, epoxy it again, and it's ready to go. Now for the bottom, um, I'm gonna place my Mod Podge on the bottom and what I do, my Mod Podge is drying. Oops. What I do is I just do a Mod Podge or a spray adhesive the bottom, whichever one. Um, since I have my Mod Podge out, I'm gonna Mod Podge it. And then I just dump the mixed, the mixed on the bottom. You can dump orange, you can dump black, you can leave it plain. However you like it is really what works. So I'm doing, I have a lot of leftover for my, my uh, mix. So I'm just gonna dump my mixed on there. And that's how I'm gonna do my bottom for this one. So I don't really think there's any wrong or right way to do the top or do the bottom of the tumbler. Um, most of the time the bottom of the tumbler isn't seen, but I really, I like doing, um, I like always hitting the bottom. So I just wanted to get this on camera for y'all. And this is how you do the plaid tumbler. I did hit this with the Krylon, uh, crystal clear. So it is a little, um, a little foggy it's matte a little bit but whenever you hit this with whenever you place epoxy on this um, it will shine up again so I hope you guys did enjoy this video again thank you so much for all your likes your subscribes your shares I do appreciate it I hope you like this video and like always if you do have a suggestion or anything you would like to let me know with my process or to help me please leave it in the comments below and that will also help everybody else watching believe it or not that was only my second uh, tumbler plaid tumbler I've done this was my first one so um, uh, I'm sure I still have a lot to learn. So if you do like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see y'all next time. Bye.